Good morning and welcome to Kids Rock for October the 4th. I'm so glad that you have joined me this morning for our time together. Let's begin by lighting the Christ candle. And now I'll say the Lord be with you and you respond and also with you. Here we go. The Lord be with you. Also with you. Thank you. Let's pray. Dear God, we thank you for this time that we can pause this morning to worship you and learn more from your word about how you want us to live. Bless our time in Jesus' name. Amen. So today we're going to share one last story from the life of Moses. We're going to take a look at some instructions that God gave his people in order for them to become more like him, shaped to be his people. And so let's begin with the song, I Want to Be Like Jesus. Let's sing. for you as we start our time together. Pretty much everywhere we go in our lives, we have rules to follow. So what are some rules you have at school, especially right now during COVID season? Just go ahead and call them out. I bet you said things like, listen to your teacher, keep your mask on in the hallway, stay six feet apart, Raise your hand if you have a question or you want to share something. How about at home? What are some rules you have there? Call those out. I bet you have rules around your house. Something like no video time until homework is done or no screen time, I should say, or wash your hands when you come in from outside or before a meal. Or wait your turn to speak if someone else is talking. You know, when we begin to gather again at the church for Kids Rock Time next Sunday, we're going to have some of those same rules that we're going to have to follow too. Now, why are rules important? 
I want you to pause me for a minute and talk about that with your family around you. Why are rules important? Pause me and talk about that. You know, one of the reasons <clears throat> we have rules and instructions is that they help make our homes, our schools, our churches a safe place for each one of us. When we follow the instructions that we have been given, we are saying to those around us that we care about them and we want to help keep them safe and feel loved. Now, our story today is about a time when God spoke to Moses and gave him a whole series of instructions to share with his people. In Exodus 20, God lists 10 sets of instructions that we call the Ten Commandments. Listen as I read the story to you from our Friends with God Story Bible, and it's written as if Moses himself is telling the story. No doubt about it, I've lived through some incredible adventures. From the time I was born, I've faced things in my life that no one else in all of history has experienced. Every step of the way, through every breath and every day, God has been there with me. God was with me when the Pharaoh's daughter plucked me out of the river to save my life. God spoke to me through a burning bush. God was there when I raised my hands and parted the Red Sea. God gave our army one victory after another in battle. And God even provided food from heaven when my people were hungry. God always took care of me. You can see a bit of the pictures there. God had another special way of taking care of his people. After God rescued us from the Egyptians, he sent me up to the top of Mount Sinai. He gave me 10 instructions to help us live good lives that please him and keep us from hurting God and each other. These instructions are called the Ten Commandments, and this is what they say. One, I am your God, your only God, Two, do not make any false gods and worship them. Three, do not misuse God's name. Four, rest on the Sabbath and keep the day holy. Five, honor your parents. Six, do not murder. Seven, stay true to your husband or wife. Eight, do not steal. Nine, do not lie, and ten, do not want what others have. If God's people can follow these simple instructions, they'll live happier lives that please God. When you love something, you want to take care of it. I worked hard in my whole life to protect and help God's people. I did it because I love them. God loves you too. And God wants what's best for you. God has written down instructions in the Bible to keep us close to him. When we follow those instructions, we'll live good lives that please God. And we won't want to hurt our family and friends or our very best friend. God. When we follow God's commands, the instructions that God has laid out in the Bible, we will become more like him as he calls us to become. Let's pray. Dear God, we thank you for the rules that you have given us in the Bible, the instructions that will help us become more and more like you when we follow and obey them. Give us the strength and courage to obey, to make the choices that please you, and give us the desire to become more like you. In Jesus' name, amen. Now you can read that story for yourself in Exodus chapter 20, 
and it's verses 1 to 17 in in this hands-on Bible it is page 79 78 actually I have a simple game idea for you to do later on with your family called do's and don'ts one person is the leader who will call out various commands and everyone else has to do what the first person says what the leader says for example if the leader says do hop three times everybody has to hop three times if the leader says do giggle then everybody has to giggle now here's the twist the leader can also choose to call out a don't so if the leader goes D don't do a jumping jack then you all stand still and nobody does a jumping jack and it can get really tricky if you kind of drag out the do or the don't and you don't know what they're going to say. So have fun playing some do's and don'ts with your family later on today. Well, it's time for the thankful journal, the place where we've been recording lots of things we've been thankful for over the last whole bunch of months. And here's what I want you to do this week. I want you to think about the things or the people that God has given us to help and follow and obey his commands and then draw a picture of that or those that person and write about it in your journal so for example I drew a picture of my blue Bible God's Word and inside of it I wrote one of my favorite verses I memorized when I was like eight and I've been so I've known this one like my whole life practically it's found in Psalm 119 verse 11 and it says this I have hidden your word in my heart that I might not sin against you. And that verse has always been a good reminder to me and an encouragement to keep God's word in my heart and to listen and obey it. So something today that you're thankful for that God has used or God uses in your life to help you follow and obey him. And as usual, we have our coloring picture and our word search. And it looks like this. We have Moses with the Ten Commandments and a word search. You can get your parents to print those off for you later if you want to have fun with those this afternoon. Well, it was really good to be with you today. Remember this week to be thankful that God will help us to make the right choices to become more like him every day. And I also want to just take a moment and remind you that next Sunday, October 11th, we are going to start to meet in person again at the church. I hope to see many of you back, if not next week, but soon in the next few weeks. I will continue to record a lesson like this every week, so if you decide with your family you're not quite ready to come back to church, there will be one of these lessons every Sunday that you can still follow along. And I'm going to base these lessons on the same stories that we're going to actually be using in church instead of on the lectionary like I've done the past six months. And now, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up his face towards you and grant you his peace this day. Amen. Well, take care. Have a great week, and I hope to see some of you next Sunday, October 11th, at the church. Bye.